Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to program the stock FCB 1010 to control everything in the Neural DSP software. Let's get started. To program the FCB 1010, we'll be using an editor since it is the easiest way to program the controller. There are many editors that are both free and for purchase. However, the editor I find the easiest to use is the FCB 1010 Manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find a link to this free editor in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB 1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. We'll begin by setting up pedals 1 through 5 to change presets. Pedals 6 through 8 to toggle effects on and off. Pedals 9 and 10 to control absolute parameters on amps and effects. And the expression pedals to control sweeping parameters on amps and effects. Let's begin by setting up the editor for preset changes. In the editor, select bank 0 pedal 1 and drag to pedal number 5. Next click enable and select PC1. Now click increment. PC1. And enter the number 1 as the set number and click OK. You should now see the numbers change in numerical order from 1 to 5. The editor is now set to send preset changes. Next let's set up the editor to toggle effects on and off. In the editor, select bank 0 pedal 6 and drag to pedal number 8. Next click enable and select note. Now click increment. Note and enter the number 6 as the set number and click OK. You should now see the numbers change in numerical order from 6 to 8. The editor is now set to send note messages. Next let's set up the editor to control knobs with absolute values. In the editor, select bank 0 pedal 9 and drag to pedal number 10. Next click enable and select CNT1. Repeat the above procedure and select CNT2. Now click increment. CNT1. Controller and enter the number 9 as the set number and click OK. You should now see the numbers change in numerical order from 9 to 10. Repeat the previous procedure by clicking increment. CNT2 Controller Enter the number 9 as the set number and click OK. You should now see the numbers change in numerical order from 9 to 10. Finally, we must set the value for the controllers. Click Fix and select CNT1. Select Value and enter the number 63 and click OK. You will see value 1 on both pedals change to 63. 
Next, click Fix and select CNT2. Select Value and enter the number 127. Click OK. You will see value 2 on both pedals change to 127. Finally, let's program the expression pedals. Select Bank 0 Pedal 1 and drag to Pedal 10. Click Enable and select Expression A. Repeat for Expression B. Next click Fix. Expression A. Controller. And enter the number 7. Repeat for expression B, but enter 11 as the controller number. Select fix again. Expression A. Minimum. And enter the number 0. Select fix again. Expression A Maximum And enter the number 127 Repeat the above process for expression pedal B You are now done setting up the bank. Let's send the data to the FCB 1010. In the next step, we'll transfer the data from the editor to the FCB 1010. But before we begin, you must connect the MIDI in of FCB 1010 to the MIDI out of your audio interface and MIDI out of the FCB 1010 to the MIDI in of the audio interface. Now that we have set up the FCB 1010 in the editor, we need to send the commands from the editor to the controller. In order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB 1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB 1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do this step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Before we move on to the next step, if you're having any difficulties transmitting the data to the FCB 1010, leave a comment below. For expedited support, contact us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash guitar school live. Let's move on to controlling Ural DSP. Setting up the software to receive PC messages is easy. Select a preset. Right click on it. Select MIDI Learn and step on pedal 1 twice. Repeat the process for pedals 2 through 5.
Now, stepping on each pedal will change the presets. Now let's toggle some amps and effects. Select an amp. Right click and click reset parameter. Right click and select enable MIDI learn. Step on pedal 6 twice. You can now toggle the amp on and off. Repeat the previous procedure for your choice of amps and effects for pedals 7 and 8. For pedals 9 and 10, we'll send absolute CC parameters to effects. This can be useful if you need a boost in gain for a solo, but wish to go back to your previous setting after the solo is complete. Select an amp. Right click on gain and click reset parameter. Right click and select enable MIDI learn. Step on pedal 9 twice. Since we set CC value 1 to 63 and CC value 2 to 127, when you step on the pedal the gain goes to maximum. However, when you step again it resets to the value of halfway between off and maximum. Repeat the previous process for pedal 10. Finally, let's use the expression pedals to control sweeping parameters. Select an amp. Right click on master volume and click reset parameter. Right click and select enable MIDI learn. Step on expression pedal B. You can now sweep the master volume. You can repeat this process for any parameter of your choice. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.